another road trip. We're looking We're in at a car again. In the car again. We're looking at another item on the bucket list we were talking about. We're heading to Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg is a, a German town known for its wineries. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna see today, but we're just gonna go do some exploring and check it out. Hey guys, so we made a pit stop on the way to Fredericksburg to a historical park, which turns out to be LBJ. LBJ's ranch. Comment down below if you know who LBJ is and um, then we can see how you are on your history. So he was also born here, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go check it out, check out a living farm and this is a fun pit stop. I'm excited that we stopped here. Just born a couple minutes ago. Wow, so cute. This home was set in the early 1900s around World War I. 
somewhere between 1915 and 1918. LBJ did not live in this home, but this was a neighboring home that he actually spent some time in as he was growing up. LBJ State Park was awesome. We really especially loved the living farm because it was so interactive and just a fun place to go see what it was like to live in the early 1900s. We headed across the river to go check out LBJ's ranch that he owned during his presidency. The ranch was very, very important to him. And when he came, he came to work, typically. That was his idea of a vacation, was a working vacation. Bobby J, actually, uh, he and Miss Johnson bought this place from his aunt. That's where the Secret Service hold up. This was called the Klein Shop after Mrs. Lawrence Klein. He was in charge of maintenance for the ranch. If you'll notice, uh, the tool outlines are still on the wall. That's exactly where they kept the tool, where he kept his tools. He, maybe a ladybird, and here's a picture of them. They come out and pick you up in the golf cart, the 66 and 67 Lincoln Continental. This was his car choice. He typically would get the first one sold in Texas each year from an Austin dealer. But this is what he'd love to do. He might pull up, he didn't pull up in the, in the cart over there. He'd pull up in one of these. He'd load you up with a top down, and he wanted to take you around the ranch. So we made it to Fredericksburg finally. It took us a little while. We had a nice long pit stop at the LBJ place. But um, now we got to Fredericksburg. We've had some lunch. Uh, we're in the historic district of Fredericksburg. It's a German town. Small well, individual stores going down with some older buildings and some newer stores. On, on Main Street, that's where we're at right now. So we're just kind of exploring. We didn't make a plan for today. We just kind of wanted to see what it was all about. And so that's what we're doing. Yeah. 
cracker? Are you trying any of the dips? I'm going to. What one are you going to try? Raspberry honey mustard. Try that one. Good? How many thumbs up? Try some peach cobbler. I don't know how you get this out. It's like whole peaches in here. Little peach cobbler. Here we go. Oh, that was good. I'm trying the cobblers. They are good. Cheers. Mm. Really good. I think that peach is my favorite. It's also the first one I tried. Famous Fredericksburg Bakery. Brielle and I are splitting our favorite kind of cookie, white chocolate macadamia. How big is it? I think it's the size of Brielle's face. It smells so good. You ready? Good. So Daddy and Brielle got an apple, apple crisp. It looks so good. And it looks so good. Two thumbs up. <laughs> What'd you find, Brielle? It's a cute, it's just all pepper shakers. It's a truck and then a trailer. That's cute. Hey, we just are wrapping up our time in Fredericksburg. We um, didn't do too much exploring beyond the main street, just kind of going up and down the shops yeah. and stuff. It's a little different than we thought, so more shopping and a lot of wine tasting and stuff like that. So There's a lot of vineyards on the way here, which we did not stop at because I don't think that's too exciting with a child, but I think a lot of people come here for vineyards and stuff. Yeah, you can see a lot of those. There's a lot of wine sample stores around. Mm, lots and lots of those. Everything, most of the restaurants had German food in them, so we stopped at one and had some German food to eat. Yeah, it was a nice day. I'm really glad we stopped at uh, the LBJ stuff earlier and then came here. It was The weather was perfect. It's the yeah, last day the of February nice. and it's in the 70s and it's just beautiful. The sky is clear. It was a really nice day to spend our day outside. So that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Share our videos. Let other people know that we're exploring Texas. Feel free to give us a comment down below on where else you'd like to see us. We're new here in the heart of Texas. See you later.